In this final video, we'll tweak a couple of settings and uh, show you how to play it sort of like the movie. The first thing that we're going to do is turn off our range rings. We're not using them anymore. We can just go ahead and close that up. Um, click Escape to make it stop doing that. And then we highlight the Powers of 10 um, folder that's got all of our pieces in it that we want to see. Before we go ahead and play it though, we want to check out our preferences on the Macintosh or options from the tools menu on Microsoft Word, or not Microsoft Word, but rather on the PC. And um, we can uh, vary the way things play. So the time between features, I've got at 10 seconds. The weighted each feature, I've got uh, set to three seconds. I want definitely to show balloons when waiting at features. Um, and you'll be able to um, pause as it plays like a movie. There will be a controller that pops up that looks kind of like a um, uh, VCR or DVD controller when we play it. So I've got the folder highlighted, and down here I've got a folder that says Play Tour when I hover my cursor over it. And I'm going to click and play the tour, and you can see my little controller pops up here that will allow me to pause at any point. And we zoom down in, and that opens up, and I do want to pause there. Oh, why did it do that? That's weird. Um, but it doesn't matter very much. I can pause and open that up and take a look at one centimeter by one centimeter and ten centimeters by ten centimeters and then out to a meter by a meter and out to ten meters by ten meters and then I can you know I can say some things about this as I'm showing it um, and I can just go back to playing after I've I paused there and zoom down in to ten meters by ten meters You'll note that it's not quite in the same place as the square that was drawn in the photograph. You can, of course, fiddle with that and make them the same if you'd like. I don't think that's hugely important. And we zoom out and we can see um, much of the school now and a little bit of the nearby neighborhood and much of the grounds of the school. We go further out to a kilometer by a kilometer and we can see the surrounding neighborhoods and the kilometer by a kilometer label will pop up and then we'll go out to 10 kilometers by 10 kilometers and see a, a good chunk of the town a little bit of Tanawanda, the next town over this is in Amherst, New York, the school is in Amherst just outside of Buffalo and now we can see most of Buffalo and part of Lake Erie and part of Lake Ontario and we're out at 100 kilometers by 100 kilometers And we go out to 1,000 kilometers by 1,000 kilometers, and we can see pretty much all of New England and almost all of the Great Lakes. And then we go out to the edge of the world. And we get a description of where a kilometer comes from. And again, you can pause if you want to read that. And and we zoom back in, I guess. I thought I hit pause. That's all right. There you go. <laughs> I don't know why it started over, but it's okay with me. So now we're done.